Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you how to configure sync in the SharePoint online document library step by step. What I mean is from your document library, you can see that there is a sync button. So how to configure that and how to add a shortcut to OneDrive? These two things I will show you step by step. So let's get started. You can configure sync with any of your document libraries. Here I'm showing this in my out of the box documents library. Now, here I will start configuring the sync setup. So select your document library and from the ribbon menu, click on the sync. Then you'll get to see two pop-ups. This side is trying to open Microsoft, OneDrive and Another one is we are syncing your files and we're connecting to OneDrive on your device. Copy library ID to configure this library to sync automatically. I will go with the first approach and ignore the second message. Let's continue with this. Click on the open button. Yes, now my OneDrive setup is open. You can keep your files to get them from any device. Where you will see a sign in button. I'm signing using my Microsoft 365 account. My signing is in process. Then you'll be asked automatically sign into all desktop apps and websites on this device. You can select yes, all apps or no, this app only. You can go with any of them. I will go with the second option, no, this app only. Selecting yes, all apps will allow us to use your work or school account to sign you into other desktop apps and websites you use on this device. Register this device with your organization, allowing your organization to view device information like the device's name. Is this a shared device? If so, consider signing up for this app only. So I will go with this. No, this app only option. I'm not going to sign using yes on all apps. However, you can go with the yes all apps after reading the description of what it means. My signing in is in progress. Then your OneDrive folder configuration screen opens. Add files to your OneDrive folder so you can access them from other devices and still have them on this PC. This is my default folder location where my OneDrive sync folder will be created with your tenant name. A folder will be created and then you will have your SharePoint online document library name from where you have started your sync configuration process. So this is the folder structure will be created automatically. However, you can change the folder path or location where you want to have the sync folder. This is the default location. Let's click on the next button. Now I see a demo site documents folder already exists on this PC as I had already configured this sync one more time. If you're syncing this folder for the first time or you're not sure, Choose a new folder to avoid combining files from two different folders. I will go with create new folder as I already had another folder with the same name. Clicked on the create new folder. Okay. Now, even if you lose this device, your tenant's OneDrive will back up and protect your files, making them accessible from anywhere. You can ignore this error. I have tried. It worked. I'll just click on this next button. Now I can see the get to know your OneDrive screen, which offers the option to add items and drag or move them into the OneDrive folder. Now I can see the share files and folders screen. To let other people view or edit your files, you can share them. You can also work on folders shared with you. Click on the next button. You will get all your files ready and on demand screen. There are three options, online only, on this device and always available. With files on demand, you can browse everything in your OneDrive without taking up space on your device. So this is the default configuration. What is online only? These files don't take up space on this device and they download as you use them. What is on this device? When you open a file, it downloads to your device so you can edit it. While you are offline, then what is always available? Right-click a file to make it available offline. Now, let's click on this next button. 
now is asking to get the mobile app to work on your files on the go. Use OneDrive on your phone or tablet, available for iOS and Android. So I'm not going to install mobile app for now. I will do it later. So I clicked on the later button. Now, your own drive is ready for you. Let me open my OneDrive folder. I will click on the Open my OneDrive folder button to see where it is created. Yes, this is the folder structure and this is the one I just created now. I can see that. There are three OneDrive folders available in this location. One I created now and the other two were created earlier. Okay. These are the files and folders from my document library that I can see from my local drive. Now you can work with your SharePoint files and folders from your local device, even when you're offline. I can work with these files from my local device. Now what I'll do is I will just create one more file. Here, I will just copy one file and paste here. All right, so I have created a new file in my Local drive here. I should be able to see this file in my SharePoint site document library as well. Let's refresh this page. Yes, I can see the same file in my SharePoint as well. The copy of sync file testing doc file is created automatically inside my SharePoint site document library. So this is a very useful feature in SharePoint. You can even create a shortcut to your drive for this as well. So let's click on this. Add shortcut to OneDrive link. As I have already created a shortcut link for this document library, it is insisting that I open the shortcut link. This is my shortcut folder link map with my OneDrive. Now you can work with your SharePoint files from your OneDrive. Either you can work from your OneDrive or local device. Everything will be synced to SharePoint automatically. Okay, all right. If you're creating a shortcut link from the new document library, you won't be asked to open the link. Rather, you'll be taken to your OneDrive shortcut location. This is how we can create a shortcut link from the SharePoint document library to OneDrive. Now the question is how to stop syncing from your local device. This is very simple. Select your document library folder from your local device. Right click on this. And click on the stop sync menu. That's it. That's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies, like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.